everyone, this is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for 3 p.m. Eastern, August 5th, 2019. Whatever the thing is that we, each of us in our own way, constantly crave for and incessantly desire in life is the product of our burning, fixated ego. You see, the ego is too proud to trust in life and believe life is magical, highly intelligent, benevolent. Our egos like to feel like it's in control of this great, unfathomable mystery. And if you look deeper down into the low points of your life, you'll see the ego actually feels powerless, a bit lost, needing attention and abandon. It has gotten lost in these delusions and has forgotten how to trust, relax, enjoy life, and celebrate the magical unfoldment of this amazing universe. We all come into these bodies with an ego. The body has an ego. And part of our mission is that we can have the wonderful experience of transcending it. And transcending it moves it into trust and love. And I think a lot of uh, humans have a difficult time trusting in love. And it's to move it into the opposite of trusting in love. Because if you Continue down the path that you, you're, you know that everyone, all of us experience. We do have a choice, and it is a conscious awareness, a conscious choice, and that is that we transcend our ego, and the ego moves into trusting and love. This changes everything for us while we're in these bodies. Because if you continue uh, to allow the ego to go and flail around endlessly and, and do what it wishes, it means that you will become continuously deceptive to wanting, wanting, having, having, wanting, wanting, having, having, and never, ever being satisfied. This is the drive of the ego because it's, it just flails around. It's just, it thinks, it feels that, you know, there's never enough, never enough, never, ever, ever enough. If you have a billion, then you need two billion. If you have two billion, then you need three billion. And that goes on and on and on and on and on. Moving into love, the ego trusts in love. And you transcend. So you, you move out of that low uh, energy of the ego literally pulling you and dragging you along. You know, if I buy this, I'll be happy. And you buy it, and you got a little shoot of happiness. It's like you you get a child a toy, and it, the toy is everything. It's, oh, it's just the best and the greatest. Always wanted this. And then as the child plays the toy, it just then is not interested in the toy. Loses interest, okay? So for a brief moment, 
this is about externalism, we experience joy. There's some joy. And it's gone. So what do we do? The ego comes in and says, you got to have more. Say, you got to keep getting more if you want to have joy. You got to keep getting and having and getting and having and getting and having. And this is what most of humanity is tricked into doing. You see, you, when you transcend the ego, and the ego is then guided towards trusting and love, everything changes, right? You do not have this continual pulling force to have and want. And the interesting thing about that is that you begin to evolve into understanding that you are the joy. You're the happiness. And it goes even further. Because once you are conscious of this, you literally move yourself into higher frequencies, and by doing this, you begin to connect with Source. And when you connect with Source, consciously knowing this, everything just comes to you. And that's the truth. That You know, the, the, the ego and the, and the mind try to convince you that, oh, that's just, yeah, oh, that's not possible. You know, you, you, you've got to work and scrape and struggle and the, you know, all of that stuff in order to get a few kernels. And what I'm talking about, it flows to you, opportunity after opportunity, uh, different avenues, things occur and happen fluidly, flawlessly, uh, without effort, okay? And what that does is it spurs you on internally so that you are highly motivated from your childhood imagination front and center to go out, create value, build wealth. See, most people do not create value. They do not build wealth. They're drones. They're, they, they, the external authority controls them, tells them what to do, when to do it, how to do it. If they don't do it, they're going to get this and the fear and the, and the anxiety and the stress comes in on top of it. Okay. So, you, in that canoe going downstream with no oars, but you're in command of you. You are in love. You are in trust of thyself. So you have no worry or stress. You know who and what you are. Say you, you eliminate this dang three-dimensional frequency of constantly wanting and having and getting and having and receiving and getting and having and more getting and having and getting and having. And it gets to the point where it is, it, it is an incessant addiction for humanity. Consume and have and get and consume and have and get. And then the ego comes in and says, look at me, look what I have. I have this much. I have this. I have that. And it goes on and on and on. And it's endless. See, this detect this 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 uh, it disconnects us from our God. It plunges us into an incessant uh, uh, interaction with uh, ego and mind, and the mind and the ego that's controlling us. And when you transcend the ego and you send your ego massive amounts of much trust and love, things shift. You're not angry with your ego or your mind. You saturate and flood it with love. Constantly. And then it becomes more placid and less active from the standpoint of trying to convince you and draw you into things and pushing you into the into the past to create your future and you know always you know, trying to display your surface from the ego driven direction you flood the ego love and the ego begins to trust in love and then 
it no longer is in command of you. You are in the command of the ego. You continuously flood it with love. And eventually it begins to trust in love. You operate from the heart line. It's difficult in the beginning. You know, it's not a like that. It's, it is difficult in the beginning. But as you move into it, you and, and your frequency is of it, you then begin, it then begins to feel much more at ease and fluid. And you, you continually practice it and then it becomes automatic. Kicks in automatically. So it's a, it is another shift for yourselves. It's a shift for all of us to recognize this uh, consciously and be aware of it. Because we literally, uh, in a lot of cases, and all you have to do is look around, um, so many times humanity stands in its own way of its enlightenment progression. Nothing else does. Some have called it the human condition. But it is apparent. And it is a constant. So, transcending the ego, understand what that means. You move out from underneath the ego's grip of incessant wanting, having, wanting, having, wanting, having, wanting, having, never enough, and never enough, never enough. Two, ego starts to, you flood the ego with love, and it begins to trust in love. That's a, that's a major accomplishment. Major. And you, your perspective, your attitude about everything transforms. You begin to realize that you are you are joy, you are love, you are um, omnipotently powerful, you're divine. It, it is, it's a constant. It's not intermittent, it's not just passing once in a great while of this acknowledgement. It's just fluid. It, it's there. It always has been there. But because we're so preoccupied with the ego and the ego is controlling us on a continual basis and, I, and, and it literally it, it is guiding us to external authority because it's out of control. We've never really thought about that. We just kind of accept and assume it that's that's the way it is. And again, it does not mean that the ego is a bad thing. Because we have it while we're in these bodies. It means that we must step up into higher frequency. And we must educate the ego to trust and love. And we do this by flooding it with love. Without fail continuously. So, transcending the ego, today's meditation, and if you will, go to the place where you're not going to be interrupted, and I'm sure most of you already are. And the first thing you're going to want to do is relax. How do you relax? Begin by moving into the now. And the now is not yesterday. Okay? It's not an hour from now. It's not 10 minutes from now. It is not a month from now, two months from now, a year from now. And it isn't a day ago, two days ago, a year ago, 10 years ago. It's now. When you do this and you 
consciously move into the now, you'll under you understand and you'll uh, recognize the fact that all of that chattel, all of that chatter and noise, incessant, massive amounts of thoughts burning and zipping through, are gone. Because you're only in the now. You'll notice that when you're in the now, the things begin to smooth and your mood and frequency elevate. You ever notice that when you start going into the future, going into the past, it doesn't feel good. You do it, but it doesn't feel good. At first, it's a reminiscing. Oh, this, that. But then it doesn't feel good because you are going over things that are gone. Okay? Your, your energy is focused only on the now. You move forward in the now over the river void into the unknown. This is where we create. So only in the now, and as you do this into the now, your body begins to relax. The shoulders drop. You are not in stress. You are at ease. You will feel this wave of being at ease. It'll just Low. No obstruction. No interference. Just flow. And as your body relaxes, and as you are in the now, you're going to want to breathe. And you want to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. So. As you breathe in through the nose, you want to hold it 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. And then exhale through the mouth. Breath in through the nose, breath out through the mouth. And for those of you who are new to the meditation, we hold our breath. Three seconds because it focuses us on the now. Our breathing is always in the now. It can't be yesterday, and it can't be tomorrow. It is only in the now. This focuses us and supports us and firms us to the understanding that we are in the now. And as you do this, you want to do it at least six times while I'm talking. As we breathe in, we breathe in divine positive energy. What is it? It is from source. It is from all that there is, ever has been, ever will be. It is from the collective consciousness of the universe. You see, we create the universe. Collective consciousness creates the universe. We all flow because we are all source. Most are not cognizant or conscious of this understanding. So the communication comes into your God. You're conscious, connected with your God. And you're able to understand the communication. And it flows. And it literally lets you know from source that you are the architect, you are the master, the commander of your lightship. You and only you, for you, of you, from you, are the director. You know that you're loved. You know that that is the divine, omnipotent power of all that there is, ever has been, ever will be. So, you flood your ego with love. The ego then begins to get direction and understanding, which it's never had before, and it begins to trust 
in love, which means trust in you. Okay? It begins to trust in love, which is trusting in you because you are the love. This is truly transcending of the ego. Instead of being underneath its grip, you are above its grip. And then you begin to guide it in trusting in love, in trusting in you. As you breathe out, you're breathing out any of the doubt of who and what you are. Any of the doubt that you are loved. Any of the lack of confidence that you may embrace. And any of the fear you may hold. So you literally neutralize this that comes from the mind. So you are in the heart mind and you disperse it. It has no effect. It cannot adhere. It falls off. And it's transmuted into neutralized substance. So we fold into our heart mind. Our mind is tremendously more powerful than the mind or the ego. Because to be in the heart mind is to be in love. The deeper you go into yourself, the more love you will find. And you will look for other, and all that you will find is love. As you are in the heart mind and you float up in the body and your physical vessel, you're above the heart, you're up into the, 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 the neck area, the throat, and you're floating effortlessly. You're in total silence, complete peace, total benevolence, completely content in deep eternal love. And as you move into this state, your God greets you, embraces you. You consciously merge with your God because you are, you've entered the kingdom of God by embracing your God. You feel tremendously enlightened. You need nothing. You want for nothing. The ego begins to trust in love. The love is you. You transcend the ego. You your kingdom of God is the heaven that you are. When you merge and consciously understand this reunion, you immediately begin to create heaven on earth, a paradise. Things that are low frequency, that are disruptive and abrasive, vaporize. They disappear, and you don't pay attention to it. It isn't our direction. Our direction is moving forward to create the paradise that we are on this planet, to create the kingdom of God on this planet, in this planet, around this planet. We are 
are completely encased in that of which we are. This is the healing power of our God. This is the emerald green flaming healing light of Archangel Raphael. It is the violet blue purple flaming light of Archangel Michael. It is the golden white pink light of Prime Source, Pure God, Mother, Father, God, Source, our family of deep eternal love. The purple transmuting flame, the violet ray, and the white fire. These are literally pieces of all of us. It isn't something from outside. It is something that is inside, that flows everywhere. And we are protected 24-7. Nothing can penetrate this but deep eternal love, which it is. See that in your heart mind. See that picture. Take it in. Arm in arm, hand in hand, we form our circle of light. The light is our God within. It is the kingdom of God and the mind of God. We form this. It embraces at the equator of planet Earth. Planet Earth is completely encased in a perfect sphere. It's atmosphere. It's land. It's oceans. All life within and out on the surface. You, the entire atmosphere glitters in multitude of vibrant colors, the golds and the greens and the purples and the violets, the oranges and the pinks. And it's reflective, glittering and shimmering. We begin to effortlessly float up in, above the planet. And we, we immediately call upon the other parts of us, other brothers and sisters. We are all of source. And so, they, all of the light energy beings who are in all densities, all dimensions, all existences, all universes, they are of the highest, deepest eternal love, from the highest, deepest eternal love. They're in deep generosity, happiness, joy, peace, tranquility, benevolence, and humbleness. And they come in the Google Plexus. They fill this universe and beyond. They interconnect arm in arm, hand in hand, and they join us. We are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes as they are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes. We are all one and we are all love. And our light expands. We call upon the archangels, the cherubim, the seraphim, the archetypes, all of the angels, all of the civilizations. They are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love. They are in deep generosity, happiness, joy, bliss, humbleness, tranquility, peace. They have assisted us for eons in kindness, in joy, in protection. And arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us. They are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes as we are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes. We are always in the deepest of gratitudes. And we are all one, and we are all love, and our light expands. 
feel this. You are part of it. We call upon the ascended masters. These are those who have ascended out of body, who have left the matrix, and who are risking being caught back in it by assisting us. There are many of them, many names to go through, just a few. St. Germain, Wang Yin, Maitreya, Buddha, Lakshmi, Ganesh, Sanand Jesus, Gaia, Alphoria, Abundantia, and many, many, many more. They are of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love. They are in deep generosity, happiness, joy, peace, benevolence, tranquility, humbleness, kindness. And they too have been assisting us for a very, very, very long time. And they come in massive numbers, arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us. They are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes as we are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes. We are all one, we are all love, and our light expands. We call upon all the inhabitants of inner earth, hollow earth, agartha, beneath earth, all of the civilizations who are of the highest, deepest, eternal love, from the highest, deepest, eternal love, who are in the deepest of generosity, joy, peace, bliss, benevolence, kindness, humbleness, and they come in the billions, arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us, they are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes, we are in the deepest, deepest of gratitudes. Deepest. We are always in the deepest of gratitudes. And we are all one. And we are all love. And our light expands. We call upon all of the galactics, off-wellers, who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love only. You can only come into this if your frequency is on the most high and deep eternal love. They are in the deepest of gratitudes. They are in the deepest of generosity, happiness, and joy. Peace, benevolence, tranquility, humbleness. And they come, and they have been assisting us in our evolution, in our enlightenment, in our ascension, and and are freeing ourselves from our own self-imposed bondage and slavery. Arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us. They are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes. We are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes. We are all one, and we are all love, and our light continues to expand. We call upon 
all of our loved ones who have passed, ascended out of body in this life and all lifetimes that we've inhabited. They are all of the deepest eternal love from the deepest eternal love, the highest of highs. There in deep generosity, happiness, joy, peace, tranquility, benevolence, humbleness. They're in exuberation and joy, and they come in the billions. Arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us. They are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes, and we are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes. And we are all one. And we are all love, and our light continues to expand. We call upon all the light energy beings who have decided to be housed in the following forms on an endless planet, in this now. Pegasus, unicorn. Fairies, sprites, elves, gnomes, dwarves. Trees, elementals, earth, air, water, fire. Mermaids, dolphins, whale. And many, many, many more. And they are of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love and full generosity, happiness, joy, peace, tranquility, and humbleness. And they come in the trillions, many of which we've never seen. Shapes, sizes, and colors. Arm in arm, hand in hand, they are with us. They are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes as we are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes. And we are all one, we are all love, and our light continues to expand. We look up and we see our meditative sphere. It is sitting center circle. This is of which we have created. It holds all of our meditations in perpetual motion. It is the deepest, 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 highest of eternal love. It can be seen, heard, and felt in all dimensions, densities, existences, universes. And it saturates the sacredness of space. And it continually increases vibrational frequencies throughout existence into the highest and deepest eternal love. You feel as it literally floods and saturates your physical body, as well as your God and your kingdom of God and your mind of God, your God mind. Head to toe, inside and out. You feel and you understand with complete clarity that you transcend your ego. You literally flood the ego with love. It begins to start trusting that love of which you are. This is a major accomplishment on the continuing direction of your ascension and enlightenment. This is a knowing that you identify with and your God guides you with. The ego withdraws, comes at ease, is no longer flailing around, is composed at ease, and begins every second to trust and love, which is you. And your frequency increases. And the love that you are expands. We look 
down upon the planet and we see all of our brothers and sisters, all of the life, all of the gods, the atmosphere, on the surface, beneath the oceans, inside the planet, all of the gods. We love them deeply. We embrace them all as part of us, as part of the one, as part of the source. All of these heavens existing on, in, and above this planet. They are becoming aware, and their frequencies are increasing into higher, higher, and higher deep eternal love. They are moving more in love, and the more they do this, everything changes on and in and above this planet. Feel it. Your God mingles with their gods. We are all one. We are all love. And our light continues and continues and continues to expand. And our gratitude continues to go deeper and deeper and deeper. We are in joy. They are feeling their joy. They are, be, they are beginning to embrace the God that they are. We are in exuberation in deep gratitude, thankfulness, peace, joy, benevolence, generosity, kindness. Feel it. Move with it. It is you. It is all of us. We are all one. We are all love. I will join you in the meditation, and then we turn to close this out.
just acknowledging all that we are. You can feel the lifting sensation in an effortless progression. Each piece that you consciously identify begins to assemble your true God, which then gives you the release and transcendence more and more out of the matrix. Take this with you for the rest of the day, the evening, and the night, and into the following morning. We will return here, August 6th, 29th.